Snake, unlike the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. You'll be encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Some of them are venomous, like the king cobra, so be careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, the poison will spread through your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. If that's the case, go into the cure screen and survival viewer immediately and inject yourself with serum. Got it? Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Ah. I'm the guy that designed your Trank Gun, Active Sonar, and Motion Detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss. Because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Ah. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. 
The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo? That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah. I know. Snake, what are you wearing now? A uh, tuxedo? What, you late for a wedding or something? Come to think about it, the tuxedo is an all-black outfit. It'll probably help you blend in in a dark environment. One thing you can't do, though, is equip knife-type weapons. And you can't use CQC either. Remember that. I see you caught an otten frog. The otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. Got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better.
Do you want to save? Okay, good luck, Snake. Thanks. You just heard a horse? Yeah. You sure it wasn't something else? I know a horse when I hear one. Paramedic, are there any wild horses in Silly No Yask? Do you really expect me to say yes? No. So what should I do? There's only one way through that area. All you can do is move forward. Head towards the sound of that horse. It came from the north. Be careful. Using the Patriot, huh? Yeah. It's the same one the boss was using. Where'd you get it? Hmm? I said, where'd you get it? Sigint, don't get worked up over details. What? <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, the Patriot is a one-of-a-kind sidearm made especially for the boss. It's basically an XM-16E1 with the barrel cut short and the stock taken off. The idea was to create a large pistol that combined the feel and quick handling of a handgun with the force of a rifle. But with a barrel that short, the recoil is unbelievable. It's tough to aim, but it more than makes up for it in firepower. From the looks of it, it's fitted with a hundred round drum magazine. And it never runs out of ammo? Never. Why is that? Because the internal feed mechanism is shaped like an infinity symbol. Ah, I get it. Yep, that'll give you unlimited ammo. I see you caught yourself a green tree python. The green tree python isn't venomous, so no need to worry. It's fairly docile too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. It's a really pretty green color and it lives... Oh my god. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything! 
When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. And do you think you're normal? What was that? N nothing. Ugh, oh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I... I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? <sighs> it was awfully pretty, though. Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss! That arm still hurt? What are you doing here? My sons are waiting up ahead. You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss! I'm not your boss anymore. There's nothing for you here. Go home. Go back to your boss. There's no need to prove that you are virtuous here. This isn't America. should stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. Why'd you defect? I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me, either. You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home.
This is Snake. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are going to come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's got to be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. You want to save? Hold on a sec. Chin up. I'll be in touch. Major. Snake, the boss is your enemy. You've got to accept that reality. <sighs> Adam is waiting for you at the abandoned factory to the north of your current position. Head north. <gasps> What's this? HQ, HQ. This is HQ. Control here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. What's wrong?
Saving the game, Snake? Take care, Snake. I will. Saving the game, Snake? Snake, I'm behind you 100%. Thanks. That means a lot. You've arrived at the factory, I see. Yeah. Now to meet up with this Adam guy. Good. Go to it. So, where is he? We weren't given an exact location. How about a time? Nothing was specified. A physical description? I'm not sure. How am I supposed to find him, then? You won't need to. Huh? He'll find you. Uh. Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Adam might be in there. Ah, you're using the survival knife. Yeah. This thing provides me with all the bare essentials I need to survive in the field. Hey, wait. What'd you do with the knife I made you? That was a work of art. It had matches and fish hooks and thread and stuff in the grip. Sorry to have to tell you this, but that thing is useless in a fight. No way. Really? Yeah. When the grip is hollowed out like that, there's not as much space to stabilize the blade. So the joint between the blade and the grip is weaker. That makes it easier to break. I get it. You're right. With your knife, you don't have to worry about it breaking no matter how much you swing it around. So the important thing is durability. Man, I gotta write this stuff down. Next time, I'll make it so the matches and fish hooks go in the sheath instead. Uh -huh.
Adam is a spy sent by the KGB to infiltrate Volgin's ranks. You'll need to be extremely careful in how you approach him. Obviously. He can't let Volgin know he's meeting me. That's right. Adam won't show up if you're being pursued by the enemy. Before you go to rendezvous with Adam, make sure you haven't been seen by the enemy. Meet up with him in normal phase. Got it? they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Eva. Mm -hmm. 